Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Suhanna. This week I wanted to really take it back to my channel's roots, which is just me sitting here talking to you guys. I feel like I haven't just done like a regular kind of talking about my hair video uh, in a very long time, but just me talking about my hair, uh, letting you know that you're valid, validating your emotions about your own hair through my own emotions. But before, uh, you know, I get to talking, I do want to dedicate this week's video to the UNCR, which is the United Nations High Commission for Refugees. Uh, they do have a Canadian extension and I actually found them through Peace Collective. They do help refugees from Yemen, Syria, Area. they're also helping out with the Lebanon Beirut explosion so if you guys want to help out um, multiple countries multiple causes check out UNCR and all the other links in the description including vote save America I know early voting in the US has started so vote save America has everything you need to just make sure you're registered and ready to vote and I'm not gonna lie I do feel kind of weird filming this video uh, today because I didn't think my hair was gonna turn out like this it is half wet because I'm really taking it back to my channel's roots where I film with half wet hair um, my hair is half wet but it looks a lot more defined I'm trying something new I will review it later but when I say chasing the curl I I mean as someone with wavy hair especially when I first started my hair journey of course I found the curly girl method and I saw so many girls who had uh, damaged hair and then they would do the curly girl method and they had curly hair in my mind I was like oh my god I might have curly hair because my hair already produces like four curls on its own and then a few months into taking care of my wavy hair I definitely got used to the idea of no my hair isn't curly but it is very wavy and it looks great but here's the thing, of course I have really really good hair days and then I have really not great hair days. I would get so hung up on those good days. Days like today where I'm like, oh my god, my hair looks really defined, why can't it look like this every day? I want the curl, I want more definition, like I need that definition, I need my hair to look this way. I feel like especially since I started my channel and guess in a way became a hair content creator, I, I almost felt pressured to have very defined wavy hair because there are days where my hair is so, so, so defined and I'm like, oh, I know my hair can do this. But then that leads me to feel so, so disappointed on days when my hair doesn't turn out, you know, borderline curly the way I'm used to seeing it on good hair days. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I feel like a hypocrite because I'm sitting here telling you guys like your hair is beautiful no matter what your hair looks like you've got great hair why are you so caught up on chasing the curl meanwhile I'm here obsessing over making my hair look as curly as possible and only at the beginning of this year did I kind of let that go and I'm like okay I can't be sitting here telling you guys to like your hair if I'm so 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 hung up on trying to make my hair look as curly as possible when I know my hair isn't curly and honestly I was so hung up on making my hair look as curly as possible because I get the most compliments and yeah I like to get compliments on my hair my hair has been a security blanket for me my whole life so when I have a really good hair day and I'm at work and people are like stopping me to tell me how nice my hair looks random strangers on the street are like oh my god you have such beautiful hair I'm like thank you and a big part of that is I was not a pretty girl growing up so I, I don't really consider myself a pretty girl now but I really wasn't one growing up but I always had nice hair so when people randomly are complimenting me and validating me in my hair I'm like oh maybe I just need to keep doing this and keep like making my hair look as curly as possible and then I can get more compliments and feel better about myself but really and truly having that mentality of expecting my hair to always be really defined trying to make it look as curly as possible just made me unhappy with my natural hair itself again I feel like a hypocrite because I've talked about like how beautiful naturally wavy hair is and how versatile it is and it really is so versatile but for the longest time I was like well why can't my hair just always look like this I feel like a failure as a hair content creator because my hair doesn't look amazing every day and because my hair doesn't look as curly every day I also feel like in the kind of like textured hair curly hair community you are gonna have people when you have wavy hair who are like well your hair is not even curly so like whatever and yeah those comments are annoying but at the end of the day it is what it is especially like myself just being on a public platform it is what it is I don't know exactly when it was 
that I really flipped the switch and, and realized that, hey, I'm doing what I'm advised against. I'm chasing a curl that I don't have and I, I really want my hair to look as curly as possible when it doesn't want to do that all the time. I guess what I'm trying to say with this whole video and just talking to you guys about this is if you felt this way, if you are somebody with wavy hair that has multiple textures and you know your hair can look curly, you know you can get your hair to look a certain way and you are unhappy with yourself when your hair doesn't look as curly or you're obsessed with buying products that will make your hair look as curly as possible, at the end of the day, you're just hurting yourself and how you see yourself. As corny and cliche as it sounds, your hair journey is a self-love journey in itself. If you're constantly trying to make your hair look as curly as possible and you're setting these unrealistic expectations for yourself and your hair, you don't actually love your hair as much as you think you do, which is what I realized about myself. I was like, I'm sitting here talking about how much I love my hair and how much I appreciate having wavy hair and then I want my hair to look as curly as possible. And as soon as I let that mentality go, then I actually started to enjoy having my multi-textured wavy hair that can look borderline curly or that can look swavy and blown out. Bottom line is, if you have wavy hair, that can look curly or is wavy curly, a mix of both, and you're obsessed with making your hair look as curly as possible. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I do think in the end you aren't going to love your hair or be as happy with having wavy hair as possible because you really want curly hair. And guess what? We don't have curly hair. We have wavy hair and that's cool and that's valid. Now I can actually say that with confidence because I stay walking around with like swavy stretched out hair and I don't care because I know my hair can look like this, but guess what? It can also look really good and really soft and really nice and that's cool too. But yeah, that is everything I wanted to share. I actually saw a picture posted to my friend's Instagram story, my friend Irene's Pretty Times here on YouTube and over on Instagram. She would posted to her story being like back when I used to make my hair as curly as possible. I want to take my hair as curly as possible and I'm like this is so relatable so I did want to share how I was feeling uh, just in case you guys are feeling the same way you know you're not alone and uh, you're valid always validating your emotions by validating my own you know how I do but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up so I know that you liked it if you're not subscribed to my channel and you do want to see more videos like this one please subscribe. I would love to have you here. You can follow me over on Instagram if you want to. And don't forget to check out the links in the description for the UNHCR. I think I said that right. Also, Vote Save America. Make sure you're registered to vote. Get your votes in if you can vote early. Do all that stuff. Check out the GoFundMes and everything else in the description box. But that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.